Hi, I'm Dennis Moreland with Dennis Moreland Tag, and today we're here with my friend Bozo Rogers. Bozo is a professional horse trainer. He's a NRCHA, AQHA, versatility judge, judges a lot of roping classes, and he's going to tell us a little bit about rope safety. Bozo, I'll let you take it. Okay, judging versatility horses today, we see a lot of people that are just getting started, and they a lot of them have got their rope tied on with a real thick, heavy piece of leather, something like you'd have on your breast collar, and it's a really dangerous situation. So I hate to see them tying a rope on with an old heavy strap that will not break. If a horse fell with you or bucked you off and you got hung up in the rope, you know, they could drag you to death. You know, it's happened on a lot of ranches. And so I always have, my rope strap is gonna be pretty small where it goes over the saddle horn there. And it's gonna have a little bit of a spot there that is easy to break. So if a horse fell with me and I hung up in a rope, or, you know, if he bucked me off and I hung up in a rope, that should break and drop me away from the horse. I wrap it around coming towards me just two or three times. And then I'm gonna go underneath my rope strap there and up over the horn. The reason I go underneath this rope strap is so that running down the fence, if this rope gets to flopping up, it's not the rope strap's not gonna come off of your horn. So, and then you can just take it off, do that, and it should slide right off. It's easy to get to. Another thing that I'm seeing that is really dangerous, a lot of these guys are wanting to have their rope ready and they get them a big old loop built down there and then they tie it on and when they've got it tied on their foot can go through that loop once again you know if you fell off that horse with that loop around your leg it's not good for your health so it's it's really dangerous to have that big a loop hanging down there you know take that extra second or two to go ahead and and build your loop you know, you can have it a little bit bigger, just as long as it's not down there to where it's gonna hang on your foot. Other thing that we're seeing people do today that's also dangerous is they're tying these ropes on back here. And they tie them on with the, you know, with their straps there and they've got them tied like that. And they've got them tied to where they can't get them loose quick. And the first thing they do when they get off their horse is they hang their foot in it. Well, if the horse spooks and jumps sideways, they're hung upside down with the horse stepping on their head. So that's the most dangerous place you can carry your rope is behind your leg to where you could get off and hang it. You know, some of the rodeo contractors, you know, they're pickup men, they carry two ropes in case they lose one, but most of them are gonna carry it on the opposite side of which way they get off so that their right leg wouldn't, wouldn't get it. Personally, I'd rather have it up here. If I had to carry two, I'd just put two rope straps and I'd have them both in front of me. But, for sure, you don't want to. You don't want this rope tied back here behind your right foot that you get off with, and give yourself that chance to hang your spur in the rope. Bozo, thank you very much for these bits of knowledge. We all know accidents can happen. We don't need to ask for them to happen. We sure appreciate. It. Thank you, Des. You're welcome. For more tips and to take a look at some of the country's finest handmade tack, log on to dmtack.com.